I grew up in California um, near San Francisco and I joined Troop 888 and I remember it. I remember even sewing 888 onto my sash at a certain point. I have such vivid memories of selling Girl Scout cookies in the days when you went door to door. And I had my red wagon and I piled it up high and my father coached me on how to make the best pitch. And my pitch was, hi, I'm Kathy Cunningham. I live in your neighborhood and I'm a Girl Scout. And my Girl Scout cookies are two for a dollar. How many would you like? So my first Girl Scout camping experience was between freshman and sophomore year of high school when I applied and was accepted to be a counselor in training at the Girl Scout camp in the Santa Cruz Mountains. What was interesting is I was thinking about me and how lonely I was and how I missed my friends and I missed my family. And then I realized it's not about me. I'm here for these girls, these younger girls. And that sort of shift in my thinking that this was my time to be a leader. And it totally took the focus off me. And I think by focusing on those young girls, I got my first experience with leadership and leading people and thinking about others' needs ahead of my own. I think it made me want to be a global traveler because I sort of thought, how do other people live? I'd like to explore. So I really think that it opened up doors um, uh, to opportunity for me in my life by feeding that constant quest for discovering new things. I spent the first 25 years um, of my time here in Washington after college uh, working in television. And actually, the Girl Scouts found me. Um, sitting on the anchor desk. I must have mentioned that I was a Girl Scout or a Brownie or something. And the next thing I know, I was in contact with the Girl Scout Council of the nation's capital. And it was terrific. I mean, they wanted to bring uh, young scouts into uh, the studios to watch me do the news. And that was a lot of fun for me to share that experience. So, um, you know, bit by bit, I got more and more involved with the Girl Scout Council. And I think my, my, um, ultimate moment was when I was actually invited to be a page on the Girl Scout calendar. I understand your theme this year is full circle, and Kathleen certainly lives that credo. Every day she uses the values and experience she gained through scouting to have a positive impact on our community and to motivate others to do the same. She is a great inspiration. I should have known she was a Girl Scout. I think Girl Scouting is all about growing and uh, getting those opportunities to grow at every stage in your life. And in the same way, I think um, uh, Girl Scouting itself has grown. It's constantly reinvented itself to figure out what is its role and how is it relevant in the future. And I always go back to the uh, song, Make New Friends But Keep the Old. I think that sort of is very relevant for Girl Scouting as it celebrates its 100th anniversary. That you want to make new friends, you want to keep on looking for those new opportunities, but you also want to celebrate your legacy. You want to keep the old, because one is silver and the other is gold.